Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Nicholas Comstock Show on this Wednesday morning. If this is your first time watching, uh, it is yours truly, Nicholas Comstock. And I want to welcome you today. You can also call me Big Sexy, Sexy Beard Man, Luscious Beard Man. As long as you don't call me late for dinner, you can call me whatever you want. Uh, also, <laughs> If this is your first time watching, again, I want to welcome you, but I also want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, make sure you hit the little notification bell. We would love to have you a part of the Nicholas Comstock Show community every day, and when you hit that notification bell, it lets you know when I upload a new video. All right, you guys, today I want to talk about something that is very dear and very personal to me, and it's actually very hard for me to talk about. Um, and with that being said, if you're watching this video right now, I would like you to close your eyes for about a good five to ten seconds, and I'll be right back. All right, open your eyes. Can you tell me what this is? Can you tell me what this is? If you said diaper, you are absolutely dead wrong. If you said brief, attends, depends even, you're right. Now, to be honest with you, I don't like the word depends anymore, and I'll tell you why in a moment. But if you said diaper, you're wrong. I'm an adult. I don't wear diapers. Okay. With that in mind, I'll put this back over here. And for those of you who are wondering, uh, that is what I use to go to the bathroom every day. And my staff has to change maybe between one and two briefs a day. Um, and that is what I use along with, I venture to say, thousands of other folks who are in a position like mine. Um, and I want to talk about that today. Um, I'm an adult. I don't wear diapers. I wear briefs. You say, Nick, but what you held up there is, a, is a, an adult diaper. It is what it is. Okay, let me explain this to you. When I Let me tell you a story first, and then I'll explain. When I was in the hospital a couple years ago, um, I had a very wonderful nurse's aide take care of me. And every time that she would come in to take care of me, she would say, all right, Nick, it's time to change your brief. All right, Nick, it's time to, you know, put a new brief on. You know, Nick, do you need a brief change? Every time that she asked me and referenced my toileting needs, she did not one time say the word diaper. And I finally, I was so impressed that I finally asked her about it one day during my care. I said, lady, you've, you've been taking care of me for the last few days now, and I've noticed that you never use the word diaper. Why is that? She goes, Nick, well, there's two reasons. She said, number one, you know, you're an adult. You don't wear diapers. Um, you wear briefs. You don't want to hear that you wear diapers. And... Number two, she said in the field that I'm in, if my supervisor hears me call a brief a diaper, I could get in some serious trouble um, because it's an integrity issue. And I, um, I was so, I was almost in awe by that. And I was so appreciative of this young lady treating me with such dignity and respect. Um that I've never forgotten that story. Now, back to my explanation and explaining something to you. You say, Nick, it's a diaper. It's an adult diaper. Um, let me explain this. We know, I know that's what it is. 
But like I said just a few seconds ago, it's an, it's an integrity issue. I don't want to be known as the 30-year-old or the 40-year-old or the 50-year-old that still wears a diaper. It still needs his diaper changed. Um, and caregivers, it's very important that if you've been slacking off on calling it a brief or an attends, um, if you've been using the word diaper, you need to stop because it's offensive. And it is, you know, um, people like me have already feel like we've lost our dignity, like we've lost our respect um, because we have to have somebody clean us up every day and put one of these briefs on. And, you know, so when you go around and call it a diaper all the time and say things like, hey, it's time to change your diaper. Let's get your diaper off. Man, you have a dirty diaper. Um, when you say things like that, it really demeans me as a client even more. And that's just not something that I appreciate. And also, I think it gets more difficult for older people as they get older, like in their 60s and their 70s, if they're still in their right mind and they don't have Alzheimer's or something and they're able to know what is going on. You know, but they still have to wear these. I think it gets more difficult for them as they get older because they don't want to be known as a 60-year-old man or a 60-year-old woman who wears a diaper. They don't want to be known for that. And so it's, it's very important to keep that integrity there and to keep that dignity there. And... Um, you know, I said earlier that I don't like the word depends as much anymore, and I don't because it's too close to the other D word. Um, I grew up hearing the word depends. I was completely fine with it, um, but once I got into the home healthcare field as a consumer and I heard other people using other words like attends or briefs, I was more comfortable with the word briefs, and I was like, ooh, that's that's good. That's interesting. And honestly, now it's kind of funny because if somebody asks me, hey, Nick, what do you wear? You know, boxers or briefs. I can say briefs, and they'll never know the difference. Um, so it's kind of funny in that way, and I try to find humor in everything. But I just want to remind caregivers and family members who take care of loved ones with disabilities, when it comes to toileting needs and if they have to wear a brief, um, make sure you do whatever you can to keep their dignity intact. Um, also, if you're a friend of someone with a disability that has to wear these, if you're out in public with them and they have an accident, um, and it smells really, really bad, or you know, you know that they've had an accident. Don't make a public scene. Um, go to them privately and ask them if there's anything that you can do to help them, or you know, there might be nothing you can do. They might just have to wait until they get home. I've had to do that many times, and uh, so help help your friends and family that have to wear these briefs. Keep their dignity and their respect uh, when it comes to this because it's very important to us. All right. I hope you have uh, learned something from this video. Remember, I'm an adult. I don't wear diapers. And I will see you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye.